If your nights are not filled with blissful rest and your nighttime insomnia has your daytime anxiety off the chart because all you can think about is not sleeping tonight, stick around. I have help. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad to have you here. If you are new, please say hi in the comments and I will say hi back. Today we're going to talk about a subject that's a little bit off the farm and the DIY thing, but in a way it's not because you still have to have that energy to get up at the bum crack of dawn, feed and do your chores. So I thought this would be a good time to share this video. Now, some of us suffer from insomnia during the winter months. It may be called sad, winter doldrums, winter blues, whatever it is, you find yourself wide awake every night, not being able to sleep, but in the daytime, you just are so tired, you cannot function. Maybe you've even talked to your doctor about getting a sleep aid to help you. Maybe you've even started taking melatonin, which is not a good idea, and let me share why. There's a lot of science behind this whole situation. When we don't experience the sunlight, the sunlight enters our eyes and it causes some ch chemical changes within our bodies. That's why we don't suffer from this in the summertime when there's lots of sunlight. However, dark gray dreary days cause two chemical reactions in our body. Number one, those dark dreary days kind of decrease the amount of serotonin that our body produces. And serotonin is what makes us feel rested and wakes us up and gives us energy. And it also increases the production of melatonin. And melatonin is what makes us calm and sleepy. So we have this excess production of melatonin making us sleepy all the time and yet not enough serotonin to wake us up and get us going. So if you're taking melatonin, you might wonder why it's not helping because now you have way too much melatonin. I have suffered for this for many years. I went through days and weeks without sleeping at night and just barely able to muddle through the day. And being a natural holistic wellness practitioner, I was doing research to try to find out a natural way to treat this because I just didn't want side effects from sleeping aids. I learned all about light therapy. And at first, like most people, I was a little skeptic, like how can we turn on a light and that's gonna make all the difference in the world. But trust me when I say it does. I have been using light therapy for over six years now and I have found it to change my life in wonderful ways. And I just had to share this with you because I'm sure you or somebody you love experiences chronic insomnia during the winter months. So this is how it works. Like I was talking about how that light enters your eyes and it boosts your melatonin and cuts down your serotonin. We can reverse that action by using a light. Now, this cannot be any light. The light has to be a certain amount of what they call lux. I'll put that down here. 10,000 lux lighting is the, the amount of light that is going to most simulate sunlight, that thing that we're missing in the sky these days, or daylight. And you must use it within the first 30 minutes of waking up, just like the natural sun would come up in the morning and wake us up. Now I'm gonna share with you my light and how I use it. This is my light box. They are called light therapy boxes, lamps. I call it my happy light. And it really does make a difference, helping me to be happy. This one is the Sun Touch Plus and it is created by natural bright light company and they have a lot of experience in producing natural lighting that helps with seasonal affective disorder or sad winter doldrums whatever you call your chronic insomnia they have a lot of experience now i was really amazed that i've had this particular model for over six years because when i went to link it down below in the description box which below this video I had to go way back. I've had this particular model for over six years. So that can totally attest to the quality and I'm just super pleased with it. The features on this one, uh, it has on the side here, it has the switch 
for the timer how long you want it to stay on. It has the on switch and the plus in this particular model is this little button here which is an air ionizer which freshens the air that you breathe while it's on. You do not have to have it on while you have the light on. That is totally optional. There are some key tips to make this light work for you and be more effective and I'm going to share them with you also. First of all, you want to use this light, like I said, the first 30 minutes that you're awake. And I'm going to show you how I use it. Kit, you must be consistent with the light if it's going to work. Like anything new in your life, you absolutely have to be consistent with it for it to work. And you want the light a certain distance from your face and you never want to look directly into the light. Just like looking directly into the sunshine, you really don't want to do that either. So I will show you how to position it to get the best results. I am coming to you with a great deal of experience so I can tell you for sure that it is not going to feel like you've hit your mid-afternoon slump at 9 a.m. in the morning and be able to barely function throughout the day. As some of you know, you get pretty desperate when you can't sleep. And it affects your work, it affects your relationships, it affects your health, and it affects your mental well-being. And you get pretty desperate and pretty cranky. So this is just a great solution to have on hand. When I'm using my light, I'm just so amazed at how quickly. For me, it's a couple of days. Of course, that's always going to change for every person who's out there and how low your serotonin and how much melatonin you're producing. So give yourself some time. This may work overnight. It may take a week. It may take 10 days, but it certainly will make a difference. For me, I noticed within the first couple of days, I was waking up. I had so much more energy. I was so much happier during the day. And after several days, I find that I was waking up before it was time to set my alarm. That prompted me to set my alarm a little bit earlier to get up a little earlier. And now I'm able to get up bright and early and even have time and energy for exercise and getting my chores done and spending time with my animals. I'm really enjoying the benefits from this light and I hope you do too. So again, if you have a friend or family member who struggles with this, please share this video with them. Let's get into how I use mine. As soon as that alarm goes off, I turn it off and I reach over and I turn on my happy light. Now I've got 30 minutes to fill to reach my requirement for pulling in that light. Now, as you can see, the light is at a 45 degree angle, not shining directly into my eyes, but being able to reach my eyes so I can take in that light because it does have to come in through our eyes. Now, this is a time where you can get in some screen time. I, first of all, check the weather, check any alerts I may have, message with my daughters, do those things first in the morning, and I don't have to feel guilty about getting in some screen time. Now, there are other ways to fill this 30 minutes as well. I like to read. If you are looking to expand your horizons, take on a new subject, learn some new self-improvement ideas, this is a great time to do that. You can learn a new language, listen to a book on tape. Any of those things will help. And you can see that I'm still pulling in that light from the side of my face. I also like to go through my planner, the things I've written down, goals that I may have. This is a great time to journal and do your devotions. So you could totally do that. If you are someone who has it really together and you want to get up, have your coffee and your breakfast and check your emails on your computer that way, you can. But I like to stay in bed till the last possible minute. That is it for this video. I hope that it has helped each and every one of you who needed to know how to fight your winter doldrums, winter blues, chronic insomnia, seasonal affective disorder, whatever you call it, I hope that you will grab a light and use it every day. And please follow me over on Instagram and let me know if there or in the comments below how your light is helping you. I hope this gives you the energy you, you need to tackle all your fun projects and DIYs. I look forward to seeing you all next time.